in early 2023, the Ukrainian Air Force released footage of a downed KH-101 Russian cruise missile. The projectile was developed a few years before the collapse of the Soviet Union and has been deployed in several modern conflicts, including the invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine's military has gotten better at intercepting the stealthy weapons because even with an imposed sanction against it, Russia has managed to continue manufacturing an increasing number of them. However, upon closely examining one particular KH-101 in February, the Ukrainians discovered that it was unlike any they had encountered before. Keep up. In the last years of the Soviet Union, the Russian military was seeking a new kind of air-launched cruise missile as a replacement for the KH-55. The new type would initially be known as the KH-90, and though development began in the late 1980s, the program was suspended for good after only a few flight tests. A new program was eventually launched in its place, the KH-101. This project aimed to develop a stealthy air-launched cruise missile deployable by strategic bombers. The missile had its maiden flight in 1998 and entered evaluation trials within the next few years. However, the discreet endeavor remained under the radar until 2007, when the first images of the weapon surfaced. While the exact date of adoption remains uncertain, the KH-101 has been in service with the Russian Air Force for several years. Notably, at the time of its introduction, it was Russia's most advanced air-launched non-nuclear missile. Even so, the production pace was too slow to satisfy the military's ambitions, with a reported rate of barely three projectiles a month. But although the Russian defense industry's capabilities were less than desired, the weapon was prepared to participate in the most significant conflicts of the 21st century. Apt to engage. The KH-101 is a long-range standoff weapon designed to be carried and launched by TU-160M long-range strategic bombers with capacity to support a dozen missiles inside, as well as the TU-95MSM with room for six missiles internally and another eight externally. Although it retains similar characteristics to its predecessor, the new weapon is larger and heavier. Moreover, the KH-101 is longer than the older version, and the K-55 cannot be loaded in the internal bomb bay of the TU-95MS. Moreover, the 101 did keep the KH-55's drop-down engine, which drops below the missile during flight while the wings pop out for cruising efficiency. The Russian weapon also shares some external features with the US AGM-158 JASM air-launched cruise missile. Nevertheless, the KH-101 showcases a significantly longer range of 3,000 kilometers. Armed with a conventional 400 to 450 kilogram warhead, the overall weight of the missile amounts to 2,200 to 2,400 kilograms, depending on the version. Potential warheads for the projectile likely include high explosive, penetration high explosive, and submunitions warheads. Featuring a reduced radar cross-section, the KH-101 is stealthier than the KH-55, making it more difficult to detect and destroy while en route to its target. Moreover, the missile is retargetable, capable of engaging moving targets, exhibits a variable flight profile, and can reach altitudes up to 10,000 meters. Additionally, the cruise missile is equipped with an electro-optical system for flight trajectory correction and a TV guidance system for terminal guidance. As such, the KH-101 is estimated to have an accuracy of 10 to 20 meters in terms of circular error probable. However, some sources suggest that the CEP could be as small as 5 meters. Such pinpoint accuracy is more than enough to hit infrastructure targets. A Taste of War After the missile entered service with the Russian Air Force sometime in 2012, it saw combat several times across several theaters. On October 31st, 2015, a Russian Metrojet airliner was attacked by ISIS terrorists. Within two weeks, terrorists attacked 129 people in Paris, which prompted Russia to retaliate with a series of cruise missile strikes, targeting various sites in Syria. 
then on November 19th and 20th, after deploying an initial wave of strategic bombers, a second wave, consisting of TU-95 Bears and TU-160 Blackjacks, struck the provinces of Aleppo and Idlib. During this engagement, the aircraft not only debuted, but also launched a total of 32 KH-101 projectiles. Throughout the following year, the missile was extensively used against ISIS targets, although the exact number of munitions launched remains unknown. As the conflict continued into 2017, Russia again dispatched its long-range Tu-95 loaded with KH-101s to destroy three rebel ammunition depots and a command facility on the border of Homs and Hama. Impressively, the missiles traveled for a kilometer before striking their targets. Later that year, Tu-95 MS bombers carrying the projectiles flew 7,000 kilometers from Engels Airfield in southern Russia through Iraqi and Iranian airspace, executing a successful strike. The Russian Ministry of Defense then claimed to have destroyed several ISIS command posts and ammunition depots. As of 2022, the Russian military has also employed the weapon in the Ukrainian theater from the time of the invasion. However, it is worth noting that Russia's production of the KH-101 was sanctioned as an imposition to cease the conflict. Even so, the Ukrainians have intercepted missiles evidently produced after the invasion began, implying that Russia still managed to acquire all necessary components, even if foreign, to build the weapons. It has been demonstrated that the Ukrainians are more than capable of seizing most of the hostile KH-101s, though aided by Western-supplied air defense systems. However, the KH-101 intercepted in February of 2023 was nothing like they had seen before. A snapshot. The 504AP, an improved version of the KH-101, was equipped with built-in electronic countermeasures, which can allegedly jam incoming interceptor missiles. Meanwhile, the KH-102 is similar to the 101, but fitted with a thermonuclear warhead capable of a blast yield of 25 kilotons. In turn, the KH-BD is a future cruise missile with a more considerable range and is planned to carry conventional and nuclear warheads. However, the cruise missile found in Venitsia in central Ukraine was a new and secret version. In response, the Ukrainian Air Force released footage showing the remains relatively intact. In it, it can be seen that the projectile was fitted with an electro-optical guidance system and decoy flare. Before this revelation, it was unknown that the cruise missile was equipped with a specialized guidance system scan that aids in determining the projectile's position. The digital system was designed to guide the missile in real time with camera input to work out its location. As a result, the system can visually identify targets instead of merely attacking mathematically estimated coordinates. It reportedly executes a correlation between a stored image and a snapshot of the terrain beneath it, subsequently generating a position fix. However, the images revealed even more. The Logic From another perspective, the KH-101 has a section with an airborne countermeasures dispenser capable of defeating infrared and radio frequency missiles. If the sensors detect an incoming threat, the dispenser system automatically triggers countermeasures, launching radio frequency and infrared attacks at the optimum time to neutralize the missile. Moreover, according to Defense Express, investigators made an X-ray of the dispenser system itself, confirming the precise filling of the module. As the report explains, quote, the logic of using such modules with heat traps remains unclear, since in order to detect the launch of missiles with infrared homing heads, it is necessary to install a massive system with surveillance cameras. Without this system, shooting heat traps in automatic mode is impossible. What remains clear is that the advanced self-protection kit of Russian cruise missiles is not only necessary but essential for airborne missions in the demanding and complex environments of the 21st century. And while the massive missile strikes have not quite achieved the goals stipulated by Moscow, Russian engineers are working diligently to enhance the effectiveness of their missiles and increase the likelihood of mission success. Thank you for watching my video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more exciting historical content, please consider liking and subscribing to our Dark Documentaries channels. Also, 
Hitting the bell icon will ensure you never miss out on our newest videos, which we publish regularly. We look forward to bringing you more thrilling documentaries in the future, so stay tuned.